Today I'm pranking my best friend by pretending to be his crush in Roblox. Shh. Okay, nobody tell him. <laughs> what are you doing on the computer, Adam? Oh, I'm playing Roblox with my new Roblox girlfriend crush. Oh, let me see. Is that Bambolina? Adam has a huge crush on Bambolina. <laughs> hey, stop it. How do you know if it's the real Bambolina, Adam? Oh, it has to be her. She told me that she liked me. Okay, I know. Let's watch all of Lanky Box's best romantic story videos, like how my best friend stole my girlfriend. Embarrassing first date stories. And then we'll see if you're talking to the real Bambolina. <laughs> So this story starts when I was 15 years old. Oh, And man. my best friend at that time, his name was Ben. We both were starting to take driving lessons together. We were both enrolled in this class, uh -huh. right? So we would both go to the class every day and we would goof around and whatnot. Cause we wanted to try and get our driver's license, right? <laughs> yes. So a few days went by, it was really like chill. We were just like, oh, this is a lot of fun. And then the teacher in the class was like, oh, by the way, guys, like we actually have a new student joining today. She was like, yeah, her name's Violet. And so this girl named Violet was at the front of the classroom Room, and I was like, whoa. I was like, dude. <laughs> okay, Violet was like so, so pretty. I was just. <laughs> this is a driving class. <laughs> this is not pickup school. This is not dating 101. Well, you're there to learn how to drive. Yeah. Not to hit on girls. <laughs> what are well, you doing? Violet had these really bright blue eyes, and blue is my favorite color. So Violet was this new girl, and I immediately was like already basically in love with Can her. Can you do why? Can you describe why? Well, I'll explain why. Oh, oh, so, yeah, oh, oh, let me guess. Cause she was a girl. <laughs> That's the whole explanation. No. Yeah, no. 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 <laughs> I noticed when she sat down, she had an iPhone, right, at the time. She had, like, a white case. I remember this so clearly. She had a little sticker of Pikachu on her phone case. Ah. Uh, and I was uh, like, wait a minute. Oh. She, she has blue eyes. She's really pretty. And she likes Pokemon. No Those are way. the three most important things about a girl for me. Okay, okay, interesting. So, okay, she had blue eyes. Uh-huh. Likes Pokemon. Uh-huh. A little bit awkward. Uh-huh. Who else do I know who has blue eyes, likes Pokemon? A little bit awkward. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. What's this, your sister? What's this, your sister? Seriously. No. 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 If the, if the twist at the end of the story is Adam finds out this is his twin sister, I'm a be shook. <laughs> so, so, bitch. <laughs> so I saw on her phone it had Pikachu, and I was like, that's my in. That's how oh, I'm gonna start yeah. a conversation with her. Yeah. So I was like, oh, why do you have Pikachu on your phone? And she was like, oh, my little brother gave me this Pikachu sticker, and I thought it was really cute, so I put it on my phone. I bet you went up to Violet and you tried to tell her a Pokemon joke. <laughs> You're probably like, hey, Violet, why should you never shower with a Pokemon? Why? Because he'll Pikachu! <laughs> So anyways, as time went on, uh, me, Violet, and Ben actually became really close friends. Like, we would work on homework assignments together, and uh -huh. we would, like, pass notes in class to each other. Uh -huh, uh -huh, um, uh -huh. And so we, we became really close. So my plan, Justin, was to ask Violet out. That was, like, my number one goal. And so I was, like, I would date him in class. I would just sit there, like, thinking, like, all the different dates I would take her on. Uh, like, yeah. Uh, I would imagine, like, if we hung out at her house, and I would bring, like, my binder of Pokemon cards. Yeah. And I would show her all my rare cards. Cards. Right. Her little brother would be impressed. Right. Her jaw would just drop. Just like right. hearts would appear in her eyes. It was just, I was so excited. So as I mentioned, me, Violet, and Ben were really, really close. Yeah. And I actually remember Violet would always bring Kit Kats to class. Huh. And she would always break off like a stick of Kit Kat and give it to me and Ben. It was like super cute. I just, for some reason, always remember her eating Kit Kats. And we would always pass notes in class. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Pass some chocolate, pass some notes. Exactly. And I'm falling in love. Okay. <laughs> there was this one day when Ben was out sick. Uh oh. So it was just me and Violet and we were passing notes back and forth and I was like, wait a minute, this is my chance. I should ask her if she likes anybody. I remember writing on the note, I was like, oh, by the way, like, do you have a crush on anybody? I slid it to her and she was like, yeah, I do. And I was like, wait a minute, this is actually gonna work. Who? I'm actually <laughs> gonna have a girlfriend. <laughs> Yo, who, who does this in real life? <laughs> and I was like, oh, really? And she was like, yeah, he's actually in this class. Oh, man. Oh. And I was like, dude, I started getting nervous. I started sweating. I'm like, who is it in the class? She's like, I actually think I have a crush 
on Ben. Ah! 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 I totally did not see that coming. So I was like, I was crushed. I was so sad. That's sad, man. Yeah, oh, and I was like, man. every time I would be in the store, I would like see a Kit Kat and I'd just be like so <laughs> mad now. I would just get so sad. <laughs> So the final day comes, and on the last day, you actually take a test in a car. Like oh, yeah. you practice, you show what you've learned in the class. Yep. And so how it works is there's the teacher in the passenger seat, one student drives, and there's two other students in the back, and then they just rotate each student. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Makes yeah. sense? Yeah. The teacher was like, okay, join groups of three, and uh -huh. then we're gonna take you out to do the test. Uh -huh. So of course, Ben and Violet were like, oh, Adam, like, let's make a group. So we get in the car, Ben starts, teacher's watching him, and he, he does great. He aces the whole thing. Then Violet goes, she's taking her test, Everything goes great. Wow. And I'm like, okay, this is my turn. I, I guess I gotta go now. Like, I'm already so sad. Oh. So I get in the driver's seat. I turn on the car. Violet and Ben are in the back seat. The teacher's looking at me. He's like, okay, show me where the blinkers are. Adjust your rearview mirror or whatever. So I go to look in the rearview mirror. And I kind of bend it down. And I see that Violet had put her hand <laughs> on Ben's hand. <laughs> they were trying to keep it like really subtle. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I thought you were gonna say something crazy. I thought you were gonna say, I looked in the backseat and they were making out. <laughs> so I see that they're holding hands and my face just goes blank. Uh -huh, I can't uh -huh. think. I'm just uh -huh. like, I, I lose my breath. I'm like, it's You're over. Like, that should have been my sweaty hand. <laughs> She's holding. I'm like, it's over. Like, uh -huh. I, I start panicking. My mind goes blank. I can't remember any of the stuff I learned in class. I was actually where I was gonna crash. The wheel was just coated in sweat, just dripping. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't think of anything like my mind was not working my hands were not working like oh, I was just man. turning red I honestly felt like I was about to pass out. Oh, man So I panicked and I literally just slammed on the brakes and just screamed stop and then everyone in the car was just totally silent yeah. for like 10 seconds. Yeah, I would be terrified if I was in that <laughs> car with you. And so everyone was just quiet. It was just dead silent and the teacher was like Pull over, this is clearly not working. And he was like, I'm sorry, but I cannot pass you. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I did not pass my test the first time. <laughs> Wait, and they were in the back seat? Yeah. Did they pass? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. So we all get out of the car. The professor like hands Violet in bed like the congratulations, like here's your passing test score. He hands me like, oh yeah, you gotta redo this later on. And Violet and Ben felt really bad. And I remember Violet had a Kit Kat in her backpack that she like gave me because they felt so bad. And that was basically the last time I talked to them. <laughs> How am I supposed to react to that story? That's the saddest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Why do you do this? Why do you bring me here just to depress? <laughs> ben passed, Violet passed, they're probably married now. <laughs> and you're here with me making these videos. So this story does not end totally bad. I had to retake the test like a couple weeks yeah, later. I had to reschedule yeah. it. And I was put in with a random group of three different kids. Uh -huh, just the same uh -huh, as the first time. Uh -huh. And there was actually another girl <laughs> in that group that I might have another story for later. Really? She might have become my first girlfriend ever. On one hand, I'm happy that the story's not depressing at yeah. the end. It's a happy ending. In fact, the fact that I failed my test actually led me to a girl that might have been actually better than Violet. I'm happy about I'm happy about that. Uh-huh. But at the same time, this is a driving school. <laughs> Why you gotta hit on everything? I don't understand. It sounds like if, if if you put a girl in front of Adam McArthur, he will develop a crush on her and try to hold her with her a sweaty hand. Like anybody, like literally any girl. Yeah. You can be like, I got a crush on this one. <laughs> Adam, this is a driving school. Why does it sound like you want an episode of The Bachelor? <laughs> what? <laughs> like what? It doesn't make any sense. You know what, Adam? I don't really understand why you just go around picking up every girl in front of you. But I'm gonna try and learn from the master. Why don't I try writing my own little note and passing it to you? I think that could work. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, all done, all done. Let me just sneak it over. Ah, in class? It says, Adam <laughs> and the water. Adam, go walk yourself over to the 
watering hole at him because you thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> the story I'm going to be telling today is when I dated my best friend's sister. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. All right. Hold up. Hold up. This story gets I don't crazy. Have, I don't have a sister. So I already know you making this up. No, no. My, my other best friend. What are you talking? I am your only best friend. No. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Well, this yes, story. I am. <laughs> So this is a completely true story. Now, I was probably around 13 years old and my parents sent me off to a summer camp for two weeks. 13 years old, so that would be last year for you? <laughs> <laughs> this summer camp was in the mountains. Okay? In the mountains? So picture a camp in the middle of nowhere. Like, so, like some snowy mountains or some hot No, no, no it was hot in the summer. Oh, yeah. man. So there was about 30 other campers besides me. At that age, I was so shy. I didn't didn't talk to anybody. So half the campers were guys and half were girls. And okay. this was before I really ever talked to girls. Like right. ever. So oh you must have showed up and went like, what are these? <laughs> no. Oh, these are what <laughs> girls look like. The second I got there, my parents dropped me off, right? Uh -huh. And they're like, all right, uh -huh. have a good next two weeks. Uh-huh. They left. Okay. I was so scared yeah. that I went to the bathroom yeah. and my nose started bleeding. What? Yeah. That's Wait, how nervous that, I was. That's like some scary movie, spooky, middle of the woods stuff. And then there was no toilet paper in the stall yet because they were they were still setting up the camp. <laughs> So I was hiding and I had to use my finger to stop the nosebleed. And so I, I came out of the bathroom with blood all over my you hand. Came out the, you came out of the bathroom. All the other campers like, did that guy just attack a small animal in the bathroom stall? The whole point of that was saying I was terrified of this camp. They had like the introduction. So they had all the camp counselors gather all the kids around, right? And yeah. we all gathered in this big cafeteria room. At this initial meeting with the counselors, they said the rules, you know, you have to be in bed by this time. And one of the big rules they said was there is no dating at this camp. No dating? At You're all. only there for two weeks. Exactly. How do you date somebody in two weeks? You'd be amazed. It takes me two lifetimes <laughs> to date somebody. How are you going to make a relationship in two weeks? See, I was like, well... That shouldn't really bother me. I'm not gonna get a girlfriend here because I haven't had one before, right? True, true. Well, what if I told you I actually got a girlfriend here? I would say that's about as fake as Bigfoot himself. <laughs> the first friend I made at this camp, his uh -huh. name was Ryan. Ryan. And he was cooler. He was older. He was one of the 15-year-old kids there. Wow. And he was way cooler. He had like shaggy hair and he was like a skater dude. That and makes here I was cool. with my Pokemon cards and all this uh, stuff. You brought Pokemon cards yeah. to camp? I got lonely. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I might not make any friends at this camp, but at least I can talk to my Pikachu. <laughs> I became friends with this Ryan guy, and uh -huh. he basically took me under his wing. Where this story is headed, it sounds like you're going to end up telling me you started dating Ryan. Because that's what this sounds like. Well, Ryan had a younger sister at the camp oh, oh, named Rachel, who was my age. Okay, I see where this uh -huh. is going. So basically... Yikes. Basically, at meal times, when we would eat in the cafeteria, I would eat with Ryan because I was his friend, right? Yeah, because so you got to sit at the cool table. Exactly. Uh -huh. And basically, his uh -huh. sister Rachel would eat with him too because she was nervous and new, uh -huh. right? Uh huh. So we all ended up eating together, me, Ryan, and Rachel. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I I know I know this story is getting very uh, suspenseful, but there's really only one thing on my mind, which was how was the food at the cafeteria? <laughs> it was really good. Okay, what yeah. were you guys eating? Give me, paint me a picture. We had a lot of like meatballs, lasagna, mashed potatoes, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm just now I'm just picturing you eating a giant meatball <laughs> with your new buddies. Okay. Okay. And me and Rachel started talking more because we were already around each other. Around each other eating those meatballs. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. So I would I would talk to her. We were both really shy people, but we would talk a lot more and we kind of became friends. And like I think she actually I would show her my Pokemon cards. And she thought they were cool. Stop! Stop! She thought they were cool. That's re that's really how you thought you want to impress her? What if I pull out my holographic Charizard? Do you want to date me now? I kind of started to develop, you know, a little bit of a crush on her. I yeah. got a little more nervous. What, when I was no, around no, her. slow it down. What about her drew you to her? Well, she was a girl. Uh, she talked to me, and that was, that was enough. <laughs> 
Well, I hadn't had that well, before. She was a girl and she didn't run away when I talked to her. That's all I needed. So another thing I forgot to mention was there was no cell phone service at the camp. What? Because you were so high up in the mountain. We weren't allowed to text each other because we couldn't text each other. Yeah. So at night, the counselors let the boys and girls pass notes, written notes in between each other. So all the boys would be in one room and all the girls would be in another. And the counselors would bring notes back and forth in between the two rooms. Oh, it's like a primitive version of DM. Yeah, exactly. Okay, exactly. now I understand. I had to shoot my shot, you know, I had to go for it. So I wrote a little note to Rachel and I said, hey, like, what is it like having your older brother at this camp? Ha ha ha, I had some like ha -ha. smiley faces. I had some ha ha he he. Yeah, and I, I sent it over to her. Now, the counselors read each message before they give it to her, right? Oh. Because they don't want you guys like secretly being like, yo, like let's, you know, let's prank someone or whatever. Uh -huh, uh -huh, so they read the messages uh -huh. and then they give it to you, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. So the counselor took my note. He's like, okay, cool. Gave it to Rachel. Uh -huh. I got a note back from Rachel. Uh -huh. She's like, oh, it's so nice. Huh? And then I was like, should I just go for it? Should I hope that they don't read my message? Wait, you really, wow, you really took that big of a risk? Yeah. No way. Yeah. No way. So I said, hey, Rachel, I'll be honest. I think you're really cute and I like you. There's no way. I literally There's said no that. Way. I literally no way. said that. And you just were banking on the fact that they wouldn't read it? Yeah. I crumpled it up really tiny and put it with all my other friends' notes. And I'm like, oh, here's all our notes. And then they went over to pass it back. And I was praying they wouldn't intercept it. What if they read it? You would get kicked out of that camp so fast. <laughs> I, mean, I knew it was you from the start in the bathroom. You little note passing, bloody handed little fiend. The note got through. Wow. I got one of the cooler counselors. He didn't really look at them that closely. Yeah. And then he delivered it to Rachel. I, I'm impressed. You you might have a future working at the Justy Spy Corp. Because that, that is impressive. Good job. Yeah. Message now, received. Now, I did not get a message back. So that night, she I left was you, like, she left you on red. Literally, literally, literally. Yikes! She left me on red, and I was like, ah, oh, I blew it. Like I shouldn't. Have. Well, maybe it got intercepted. Like I started going to like, what was the worst case scenario? The next day at lunch, I was really nervous, right? Because yeah. I was like, did she read it? Did she yeah. not? Did it get intercepted? Am I gonna get in trouble? Sitting there eating your meatballs. So I pull up next to Rachel. Yes. And I set my food down. Yes. Uh, and I'm just kind of like, hey, how's it going? Uh huh. And uh, she's like, hey, um, by the way. I like you too. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. She was like, I didn't want to send one back because I was worried that they would get intercepted. Uh -huh, uh -huh, this is uh -huh. true. This yeah, is a hey, true story. Hey, you ain't gotta lie to us, Adam. Hey, you ain't gotta lie to us, Adam. You ain't gotta, we like you. We, you ain't gotta lie to us. You really, you really expect me to believe you just came down and like in a movie, she goes, I like you too. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. From that point forward, we hung out all the time. We were never allowed to be alone at camp. We were like, hey, like once the camp is over, like we should become boyfriend and girlfriend. The camp is over. We go home. On the drive home, I texted her and I was like, hey, Rachel, it was so great to meet you. Like, I really hope we can keep hanging out. And she was like, yeah, yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to. Yeah. So I asked her on a date. I was like, I'm just going to go for it. This is my one chance. Yeah, you got to shoot your shot. You yeah. Guys. Hey, you gotta so 13 year old Adam was like, you know what? what where should I take her? to the movies. So I'm like, hey, Rachel, I'd love to take you to the movies. And she said, okay, let's go. I had my dad drive me to the movies, but guess who drove her to the movies? Her brother, Ryan. Oh, oh. And her oh, parents made no. Ryan oh, sit in between us at the movies. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's not even the saddest part of the movie. What happened? So we finished the movie, right? Yeah. I said pretty much nothing to her the entire time because I was so nervous. Yep. So we go out to the lobby of the movie theater where they sell the popcorn and they have the games and all that stuff. My dad comes to pick me up and I see him walking up into the theater and he's like, all right, say goodbye. Say goodbye. This was my chance. My one chance to hug her or kiss her on the cheek. Oh yeah, in your dreams. And you know what I do? Yeah, what? I went in for the hug yep. and I hugged Ryan and then I high-fived Rachel. <laughs> and then I left. I was so nervous. <laughs> about my dad seeing me with a girl. I hugged Ryan and then I went for the high five on Rachel. <laughs> Stop. And then on the way home, she broke up with me through text. She texted me, she's like, I don't think this is gonna work out. 
and then we never talked again. It's because you're a bad high fiver. That's what it is. That's what it is. You had those sweaty hands. When he high fived her, her whole hand was just covered instantly in Adam's sweat. And that's it. We that broke up. Story. She broke up with me, and I never <laughs> talked to her again. And I never talked to another girl again in my life. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, that was a hundred percent real. I did not make up a single part of it. Why would you tell me that story? Like what? Like we sat down here, do a little ha ha he he, a little fun animated story, and now I just literally feel depressed. <laughs> Okay, guys, we really hope you enjoyed that first animated series. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Let us know if you want us to actually do more of these. <laughs> you really probably slid in <laughs> Rachel's DMs and said, hey, I'm a boy with love. And she hit you back with, let's kill this. <laughs> This story takes place when I was in middle school and you know back then of course I did not have that many friends and the friends I did have they were all guys There was a zero percent possibility that I was gonna ever meet a girl like how like how would I even meet one? I don't have any friends that are girls. I'm too scared to talk to girls like there's no way So the way that I met this girl it was literally like fate the universe aligned and brought her into my life Okay, I was sitting in chemistry class learning about some molecules and stuff in, in middle, middle school. school. Yeah, I got a big brain. Yeah, so. and you were probably like, I'm wondering if I have some chemistry with some of the girls <laughs> in this class. I was sitting in chemistry class, writing about molecules and stuff, and out of nowhere, <laughs> out of nowhere, I heard an alarm. <laughs> Suddenly, an alarm goes off. I'm like, what? What's happening? Is it like a fire alarm? It was exactly that. It oh, was a fire drill. On this day, some kid, I don't know why, had actually set fire to like a bathroom trash can. So the whole school had to evacuate and go on the field. It was like a fire drill. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? The way they line you up in the fire drill line is they give everyone just a random number. Okay. okay? So the, I got a random number and I go to my spot, kind of looking at it, kind of confused. And I look up and the girl with the number next to mine, so she was next to me in line, was literally like the most beautiful girl I had ever seen in my entire life. I was shook, okay? And I was just gonna stand next to her for like 15 minutes because you have to wait to go back inside when it's safe. I look up and this girl is just beautiful. I was uh. like, oh man. She asked me, she's like, oh, what's your name? I've never seen you before. I was like, I'm Justin. What's your name? She said, my name's Sarah. I was like, oh, cool, cool, cool. So we just like talked for like two minutes uh -huh. and then we went back to class. Uh -huh. And that was it. I was just waiting for the next fire drill so I could <laughs> see her again. Wait, so you, didn't, you, you guys were not in the same class? Class? No, I never saw her outside of the fire drills. Oh! So I literally was like... So you were like about to start your own fire. <laughs> I, was a, uh, is this <laughs> I was in chemistry class mixing up potions, <laughs> trying to start a combustion. <laughs> because some kid lit a trash can on fire, our school decided we had to have more fire drills more often. But we literally had a fire drill every other week. We had two fire drills a month. Uh-huh. So I got to know Sarah just seeing her like twice a month. Uh-huh. That's why I say this relationship is fake. That is the most poetic thing ever. I mean, your numbers were like totally random. They're like, totally what are the odds that you ended up next to Sarah? That's what I'm saying. And if that kid had never set the trash can on fire, I would have never even met her. Over time, we got to know each other better. Anyways, I'm going to cut the long story short because what happens after is more interesting. But we literally actually ended up dating. Wait, what? Yes, we did. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yes, we you did. You skipped such a big section. So you go from seeing her once every couple of weeks for two minutes to now we're boyfriend and girlfriend? Yes, I just cut that how? out. What do you mean how? Are you Adam's like, give me the secrets. <laughs> I don't understand. How? Oh, okay, so like you guys went from the fire drill, you maybe like started hanging out a little bit and then you like asked her out? Yeah, basically. Oh, okay. Like, that part of the story is not the super interesting part. It was just like, we just got to know each other better and we spent more time together. And God. it was not like some big event where I was like, do you want to be my girlfriend? It was nothing crazy. I remember one of our first dates was to go to the aquarium. I remember going to the aquarium and just walking around her for like three hours. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. I don't know why I remember the sea otters so clearly. Sea otters are really cute. They're very cute. They're very fluffy. They sit on their back and they eat like that. That's where I learned how to eat the way I do currently. <laughs> just put the donuts here and eat them. We literally went to the aquarium, hung out for like three hours, and then like went home. Like that was like a date. And then there was the second date. And this was the tragic mistake, Adam. Oh this, no. I, I will say up until this point, everything in the relationship was amazing. This sounds like the best relationship you've ever had. Well, I mean, you're forgetting about chicken. <laughs> but, okay. but yeah, like 
this is pretty good. <laughs> so this third time, she invited me to go over to her house to go hang out. I was really nervous. I showed up at the front door and her whole family, they were such nice people. They were sitting in the living room and they were playing board games. They invited me to come play with them. It was so fun. I was like, dude, this is the greatest relationship ever. It was amazing. Wait, so you were at her house. Up until this point, had you guys like held hands or like kissed or anything like that? We had not done anything at all. Not even like hug? No. Wow. No. Because in my head, i am be honest, in middle school Justin's head, that was not the priority. I was just like, there's this girl that I really like hanging out with. I didn't really care. It was like, whatever. Like, I, yeah. I didn't really understand how that stuff worked anyways though. You know uh -huh. what I mean? So we played board games with her family a bit. It was like her mom, her dad, and her little sister. And then she goes, Justy, let's go upstairs and watch a movie together. I was like, wait, oh, um, wait, are you serious? We went upstairs and she goes, Justin, you can pick the movie. What movie do you want to watch? And I said, you know what? There's this movie I really like. It's called Batman the Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back on it, if I could talk to little Justin now, I would say, I don't know, play the notebook or yeah. something, play some anime, what are you doing? <laughs> but back then, I was like, yeah, I'll watch Batman. And literally- You're like showing her your Joker and <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, she was terrified. She was trying to just hang out and cuddle, and I'm- She's putting on some lipstick, you're like, oh, can I have some too? You wanna know how I got these scars? <laughs> <laughs> also, Just, that movie's like three hours long. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's like three and a half hours long. <laughs> We're sitting there alone, watching The Dark Knight. She's terrified, okay? <laughs> she don't know what's going on. And then, as if, like, this is so crazy. The door opens, and her mom comes in, and her mom goes, oh, hey, your dad, your little sister, and I want to eat some ice cream, but we're all out at the house, <laughs> so we're gonna leave and go get ice cream. Wait. <laughs> Wait. What? That's what I don't Why do they all need to go to get ice cream? I don't know. I don't understand to this day. But, of course, little Justy has no idea what's going on. <laughs> Me and her were sitting like this. You know what I mean? You had her arm around I had the arm around just sitting like this when her mom and everybody left i was like is something supposed to happen now <laughs> get nervous <laughs> get uncomfortable i did not know what to do this is kind of a bigger point i don't know nowadays because of social media i feel like kids kind of know how relationships work better i don't know about you but back then i had no idea how any of this worked no so you're sitting there cuddling with her you're like panicking or you're like, what do I do? Or did you did you just not think at all? Or were you just like, this is what you're supposed to do? Yeah, it was a mix. Like I really was kind of just focused on the movie. I didn't really know. But I was also like, am I supposed to do something? My arm is falling asleep. <laughs> it's been three hours. <laughs> but basically after this, I learned the very next day at school, I had made the biggest mistake of my life. After school the next day, Sarah comes up to me. She goes, hey, Justy, let's go over to the bleachers and just chill for a little bit. I was like, okay. Wait, so nothing happened during the dark night? Absolutely nothing happened. Okay. I, we finished the movie and I went home. Okay. Classic. We go out to the field, we go out to the bleachers and she's, I, I thought we were just gonna hang out, just chat. She sits me down and goes, Justin, it's been great hanging out. You know, I've had a lot of fun. I really like you, but I think we should break up. Wait, what? That hit me like harder than like any time I've been hit in a zero budget <laughs> or any content. I literally ooh, put a Roblox out. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. That's actually so sad. Dude, like it she came, broke up with you? It came it came out of nowhere. She broke. I was like, what? Did I you ask her like why? Yeah. And she was just like, oh, you know, oh, uh, yeah. you know, she I mean she didn't really give me a clear reason. But then I learned the reason reason the next day. Over the months of dating Sarah, I had gotten to know some of her friends, uh -huh. right? So she had this friend named Amber and I remember talking to Amber being like, you know, what What happened? Why did my world just crumble <laughs> yesterday? I don't understand. She basically told me that Sarah had orchestrated the entire movie night thing so that like something, I don't know, like a kiss or something could happen yeah. and that I failed. Like it was some sort of exam that I failed to pass. <laughs> like she literally told me, she was like, Sarah got rid of all of the ice cream in her house so that she knew her parents and sister would leave. Wait, what? I don't know how. Wait, she like threw it out and she like eat it all? I still don't know. If she ate it all, then that's actually the love of my life. I gotta find her. Wait, wait, wait. So she planned everything. She like brought you over. She brought you into her room. So when you like picked the dark night, that was like your first 
first fail. That was like strike number one. <laughs> and then her family left. And then you didn't do anything. That was strike number two. And then strike number three was probably my Joker impression. <laughs> Let's put a smile on that face. <laughs> In her defense, she kind of like did do a she really did. good job. She did an insanely good like, job. Like she set everything up. She like lobbed you a great pass. And then you just dropped the ball. Oh, I just airballed. I yeah. like, okay. okay. <laughs> I didn't understand. But like I said, back then for us, like relationships, they were so innocent. Like I had no idea what was happening. I'm gonna cheer you up. I actually have some donuts oh, for you. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, wow. you're welcome. Cool. Yeah, cool. I hope these make you feel better. Yeah. Justin, do not eat them like a sea otter. Please do not trust them. <laughs> <laughs> this story starts when I was in seventh grade. So one of the classes I was enrolled in is video production. I'm in class sitting there and the teacher's like, okay, I'm just gonna do a little fun assignment on the first day. Uh, I just kind of want you guys to learn how to use the cameras. So our first assignment is I want you to pair up and film like a little dance video <laughs> using the cameras. So basically she's like, all right, everyone, pair up with a friend or whatever. And so I didn't know anyone in the class at the time. So everyone paired up and I was just kind of sitting there alone like, oh, man. oh, no oh, one wants to dance with me. That's sad. And it was really embarrassing because she was like, hey, well, Adam, I see you don't have a partner. And she was like, oh, why don't you pair up with Anna? I was like, oh, who's Anna? Uh -huh. And Anna was this girl that was actually a year older. She was in eighth grade. Oh. It was a class that had both seventh and eighth yeah, grade. Yeah, man. Hey, you got to be careful, man. This reminds me of X, man. <laughs> be careful. He was like, oh, why don't you partner up with Anna? I was like, okay, cool. So I was like, hi, I'm Adam. She's like, hi, I'm Anna. And at first, I did not have a crush on her. What? I know. I know. You but assume. then I realized she was a girl. And instantly, I fell in love. No. Is that what you're going to say? No. Uh, because she was a year older. And honestly, I thought that she was kind of like scary. I uh -huh, thought she was going to yeah. be like mean. Because yeah. like, I was like, oh, she's like an eighth grader. Like, she's so like old. And yeah, like, yeah. I don't, don't want to like yeah, talk yeah, to yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go to like film this dance video. <laughs> this probably what happened. And Adam gives her the camera. He's like all scared. The camera's all sweaty. And, then, and he's like, okay, ready? Ready, set, go. <laughs> Just start doing something real cringe. And it's like, Whoa. <laughs> So up until this point, I was like super shy. I was really embarrassed. Anna sets up the camera. She turns it on. She's like, okay, let's, let's dance. I'm like, okay. So we're both in front of the camera like dancing. And I'm like not really into it. I'm kind of like shy and nervous. And Anna was like really into it. She was like dancing like crazy and like having a lot of fun and laughing. <laughs> the video turned out awesome. Oh, like, wow. It was so much fun and we immediately just became friends. It was like an instant connection. One day came where I was just like, I definitely like Anna. Why? I was just sitting in class and I was like, okay, we're already really good friends. Like she clearly finds me funny. We hang out all the time. Oh, and I was no. like, I think I'm getting to you. <laughs> True though, I was. I was like, I definitely am catching feelings for this girl. <laughs> Your life is literally a TikTok meme. <laughs> but at the same time, I was like, I don't want to ruin one of the best friendships I have. True. Like, what if I tell her I like her and then she's like, you go away. And then it like ruins everything. Yeah, that's scary. So I was like, okay, what do I do? And I was like, I got to tell her. Oh man. And oh. so I texted her one day. I was like, hey, Anna, like, you know, it's always so much fun, like, hanging out with you. I'll be honest, like, I really like you. Oh, man. Oh, and man. Oh. for the first time, she actually said, I like you back. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. No way. Normally, girls in my old stories just reject me, <laughs> but Anna actually liked me back. No way. In your first story, you said you sent a note, and the other girl sent one back that says, I like you back. Apparently, you're very <laughs> slick at sliding in these DMs, Adam. So I texted Anna that I liked her, and she said she liked me back, and I was so happy. I was like, wow. this is perfect. I met a girl in video class. She likes video. I like video. I like her. She likes me. This is amazing. Wow. So we are like, okay, let's go on our first date. Oh. Man. And so I remember this. It was a Friday night. And I was like, all right, here we go. First date. This is going to be awesome. I was like, let's go to the movies because we both like videos, right? True. It's big brain. Yeah. Big brain. So I couldn't drive at that point because obviously I was in seventh grade. So yeah. my mom dropped me off at the theater. Uh -huh. Her mom dropped her off. Uh -huh. And we go into the theater. And so we get our popcorn. We're like sitting in the movie theater as the trailers go. And Anna kind of leans over and she's like, hey, like, are you kind of excited for our first kiss tonight? And I was like, wait, wait, wait. At, at this point, 
I did not think I was gonna kiss her for at least like another year. <laughs> at least another decade. <laughs> at this time, I was like, oh uh, yeah, I'm really excited. But in my head, I was like, dude, I don't know what to do. I've never, ever, ever kissed a girl before. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know. I started panicking. So there I am watching the movie, just slowly getting more and more sweaty as I'm just watching and like oh, man. prepping you're in like, my you're head. You're like, hey, Ed, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. And if you did that thing where you went in the bathroom and kissed yourself in the mirror, <laughs> trying to practice, trying to get some last minute practice. <laughs> the movie's over. I'm like, okay, in my head, I, we kind of wait for people to leave the theater. I'm like, okay, are we gonna kiss now? Are we gonna do this outside the theater? Like, do I lean in? Is she gonna start the kiss? Like, I was like, I don't know what to do. Oh, man. So we actually ended up getting up. We didn't kiss. We just went outside, outside the theater. It was like 10 o'clock at night, and there was no one outside the theater. Oh, we were in man. the dark. Oh. And so she kind of like, we're both just kind of standing there awkwardly, like looking at each other. Yeah. I think we both were hoping the other person would do something. Yeah. And eventually she just kind of like leans next to me and kind of like rests her head on my shoulder. Yeah. And then I kind of like hug her. I was like, okay, well, I guess this is it. Uh. <laughs> I guess this is where my first kiss will be. <laughs> so I kind of like put my hands on her shoulders and she's like looking at me, I'm looking at her. I'm like, okay, here we go. And then I start to lean in. And then I actually miss. <laughs> I kissed her nose. <laughs> Cause I closed my eyes. I just went in fully blind because that's what I thought you were supposed to do. But I guess I closed my eyes too soon because like I just Dude, missed. Dude, you're so cringe. <laughs> How is that possible? But it gets, it, don't worry. Don't worry because she's like, she kind of like laughed. She thought it was kind of cute. She's like, oh, it's okay. Like we can try again. I was like, okay, here we go. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I can handle this again. <laughs> Hearing about this again. <laughs> you can't handle the cringe. <laughs> it's, it's too cringe, man. Basically, she's like, okay, she kind of like cute and laugh. And she's like, oh, it's okay. Like, it's, it's dark out. Like, whatever. Because she knew it was my first kiss. She's like, okay, we can try again. And so I'm like, okay, here we go. I'm not going to miss this time. So I go in and I basically like, put my lips on hers, and then just freeze. It was as if my entire mind just went blank, and it was just like this. Just nothing. <laughs> just frozen for like five seconds, and then I go back. That's how my brain feels right now. I'm blacking out, it's too much cringe. <laughs> and then she said to me, she told me, after we pulled away from the kiss, I was like, wow, that was kind of crazy. And she was like, honestly, that was the worst kiss I've ever had. <laughs> I will remember those words to the day I die. There is no, there is no way she said that to you? Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why I guess would she, she say that? She just thought it was really boring. <laughs> That's so mean, though. After she tells me that, I had texted my mom earlier in the theater. I was like, hey, the movie's over. Like, come get me. So we had like 15 minutes until my mom got there. Yeah, so like, that's, yeah, when yeah. We, that's when the kiss happened. Right, right. And so right. the kiss just ended. And then my mom just pulls up. She's like, hey, I'm here. Like, come get in. She just vaporized out of it nowhere. Was, it was literally like that. I was like, that was really good timing. Wow. So I get in the car. I'm like, okay, bye, Anna. And like, on the drive home, she was like, how, how did that go? I was like, how did what go? Huh? And she was like, oh, I saw that you guys were like trying to kiss. So I was just like <laughs> sitting in the parking lot <laughs> waiting for you guys to <laughs> He was like just driving in circles. <laughs> Stop. 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 You dude. resuscitated. Stop, dude. <laughs> this is too much cringe. They are not happy. They are not happy. Stop, dude. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. Your I mom, know. Your mom would just cruise around the block being like, that's my son. I'm a lamb. She was his literally thing. doing circles in the parking lot. But when she first picked me up, I was like, wow, like she came at the perfect time, like just after the kiss finished. 
finish. Like, I'm glad she didn't see that. But she actually did see it. Now, the good news is my mom felt pretty bad because I kind of told her, like, the date did not go well. Uh, and there was, like, this ice cream place next to the mall where uh -huh. we watched the movie, so uh -huh. we just got ice cream. Oh. And that's, that's how it ended. Oh, like, we got ice nice. cream. That's nice. Me and Anna, our friendship kind of fizzled out, unfortunately. Like, we, we went back to being friends for a little bit, and then it kind of, like, died out. Don't even bother. Yeah. She so, toxic. It's just me and my mom again. <laughs> Bro, Adam, it's us, and we're holding some flowers. What's going on, bro? This game's gonna be crazy. Yo, this cinematic is crazy. Can't wait for the prom tonight. I still need a date, though, but I already have someone in mind. Let's ask her out. Whoa, we're gonna ask this person out? We're outside the house of our crush. Now, I have flowers, Adam. You wait here. You wait here by the car. I'm gonna go ask out my crush. All right, let's hope it goes well. It'll be pretty lit, dude. This is our crush's house. Uh-oh. No way. But she's supposed to be evil? What's going on, dude? Oh, no, guys. So, Justin's gonna ask this person out. Let's see what happens. Okay. Hello? Would you like to go to prom with me? Hmm. Something isn't right here. Let's have a look. Okay? We're going inside. Uh-oh. Okay. What's going <gasps> Hey, yo. This is getting real spoopy, guys. This is our crush's house? This is creepy. Uh-oh. I shouldn't be here, should I? <gasps> Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Something creepy, yo. I mean, well, we shouldn't have just entered their house. That's kind of messed up. Yeah. We're going to get jumped into the TV. Uh, just stay. Ah! That's our crush? What's going on? Let's get out of here. That's our evil crush. Ah! Oh, man, this is not good. Oh, boy. Yo, we got to get three keys. This game is crazy. Look at the graphics. Wow, yeah, maybe there's, like, some secrets. Where am I? How big is this house? She is crazy. I need to get out of here. We need to get out of here. All right, dude, we have to escape, guys. I'm going to explore the whole house. There might be some secrets. Yeah, dude. Might be some max level secrets about <laughs> a prom crush who's actually evil. Yeah, good idea. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm zooming down the hallway, dude. Dude. All right, and at the end of the video, we might have to reveal who our crush is. What? I don't know, guys. Watch to the end. We might reveal that. It's not a reveal. We all know you love your mom. <laughs> Wait, I've had a key over I here. I found another key over here. Nice. Adam's crush is his mom, guys. <laughs> all right, I got another one right here. Okay. <laughs> Gotta be another one down the stairs here. All right. Why would we go down into the basement, though? We're asking the oof here. Yeah, oh. I really don't like this. Treasure chest, a treasure chest. Open the treasure chest. Nice. Open the treasure chest. Oh, wait, it says find keys in the room to open. Oh, okay. Wait, so that's the only way you can go. What, what happens if you fall down here, dude? Uh-oh. Don't, happens... don't fall, don't fall. Ah! Oh, man, you just, ooh. Oh, man. Wait, I lost all my keys, bro. You have to go back? Are you serious? You just had to go down to that uh, door downstairs. Dude, check this out. You can buy all these, like, cool pets and stuff. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, and then what's this in the shop? Whoa! Hey, I might, might have to get this later. <laughs> Boxing glove launcher. Might have to... I have to buy that really quick. I just want to see what it does. I, I, okay, you won't use it on me, right? I, I, I wouldn't do that, dude. I wouldn't do that. All right, don't cool. Worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, okay, okay. Close all this stuff. Stop, stop. It's too many menus. All right, get the, get get this. Nice. Got my boxing glove launcher. Nice. Okay, I'm going to go pick up these keys. I'm going to go through this door. It's going to be awesome. Here we go, guys. That's the pit I failed out earlier, guys. Don't make that mistake. Yes, yeah, so you just get all three keys, then you can open the door down here. That means our crush oofed all these other people who tried to ask her out. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. That's not good. We completed stage one. Oh! What have I gotten myself into? This must be her basement. This is so scary, dude. Wow. Hey, wait, you can, like, yeet me? I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to. Okay, I'm gonna just stand right near these traps, okay? Hey! Justin! 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 Stop! Alright, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> okay, so you can't walk in the steam. Yeah, don't walk in the steam, dude. <laughs> don't walk in the steam, dude. Don't walk in it, dude. Alright, you got it, man. Guys, we're going to make it to the end and we will reveal a secret at the end. We will reveal everything. Now, Adam, you know, you shouldn't walk in the steam. What's so funny? <laughs> That's how you be talking. You be talking big, 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 big. Don't, don't walk in the steam. You know what else you shouldn't walk in? What? Fire. No! <laughs> no, 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 no. I need the checkpoint. I need the no, checkpoint. Come back here, Adam. Come back here. Justin, no, 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 no. Justin, 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 Justin,
stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, okay we need power. We need to get power. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll All right, I'm hopping on this platform, even though I'm still on fire. I'll stop, dude. I'll stop. All right, you're my best friend. Justin, stop. I'm on fire still. Don't eat me, whatever you do. I won't, dude. I won't. Don't. I'm so close to oofing. I have to jump here. All right, I'm, I'm going to oof. Man, I gotta go back to the start. I'm fixing the lever. I'm fixing the lever. Oh, man. Why did you do that? Uh, what? Why did you use fire on me and then yeet me? I didn't do nothing. That was me. I was like, it was a glitch. Oh, It was our right. evil crush. I uh. fixed it. I'm going back. All right, nice. We will beat this obby, guys. Yeah, definitely. Don't worry. Guys, for sure we will beat this. You are going to hear some crazy lanky box secrets at the end of this obby. Yeah, dude. All right, you fix it? Yep. All right, all right, all right. I'm I'll, almost done. All right, I'll, I'll meet you at the elevator, dude. Okay, sounds good. I'll meet you at the elevator. All right, I turned it on, and then I'm up here. I'm, I, I, th I took the elevator. Nice. I got a checkpoint. Nice, cool. Okay. <gasps> what is this? She got like a giant warehouse. How big is her house? Uh-oh. I guess she does have a mansion. What happened to the lights? Uh-oh, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow, so that's the girl we like in the game, guys. That's our evil crush. Go away, go away. Ah! Justin! Ooh. Our evil crush is so evil. Get us out of here. Oh, go away, go away. I don't want to go to prom anymore. <laughs> I don't want to go to prom and Adam loves his mom. <laughs> oh. oh, oh my goodness. You got it, man. Oh, it's a blast. She got a blaster. Oh my goodness. Uh -oh. I'm in a dead end. Oh no, I'm in a dead end. Oh. Whoa. Oh, fancy feet, fancy feet. I'm out of here, dude. Nice. Use the pipes. We're in the vents, dude. Wow, that was crazy. This is nuts, dude. Yeah, Adam um, tried to throw a mom prom the other week. Yeah. He, he made a mom prom to invite his own mom to a mom prom. Yep, and she said no. She rejected him. She said she was busy. Yeah. You know, That's she, okay, though. You know she was busy with? What? <laughs> Going to my soccer game. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it was a big, big week for me. Cool. Avoid the moving saws. All right, now we're going up this forklift. Wait, there's saws up here? There were saws down there. Oh, boy, they're going to chop us in half. Don't, dude. That don't, would be scary. Don't chop me. Don't. Yeah, not cool, guys. I'm getting out of here, dude. I'm getting out of here. All right, guys, we'll do it together. Hey! <laughs> I saw that. You tried to punch me. I didn't see nothing. <gasps> we completed stage five. Okay. Hmm. Trip wires. Shouldn't touch them. What happens if you touch one? Mm, you ah! It just grabs you and oops Ooh, she you. She just yeeted us out of nowhere. Man. That actually kind of scared me. I thought I would like blow up. I didn't know she would like attack us. Yeah, this is hard. Oh, man. <gasps> what is that? <gasps> oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What is that? It's a skull. Why does she have like a skull portal in her house? Oh, no. Are we going to have to jump inside that? I don't like this, man. We have to. There's no other way out. Let's go. Whoa. Oh. So now we're deep in her lair. Oh, she's huge. What is going on? Is this the underworld? Oh, wow. Don't fall in here, dude. That would be the worst thing ever. We're in the underworld and Adam's in his underwear. <laughs> yeah, like the baby plushies. Yeah, Adam's in a diaper right now. No. Like the baby plushies. You said, you said all right, all right, all right, all right. We're Yo, gonna Adam, check going. this out, dude. What do you think's down here? Mmm, maybe there's like a secret like yeah, area yeah, yeah. or something. Oh wait, I actually might see like if I move the camera, there might be something there. I can't really tell. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Keep looking, keep looking. Do you see anything like secret? I'm checking. You see any secrets? You said you saw a secret down here? Yeah, there's a secret. Um. Hey! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Justin! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Stop! Alright, we're sliding our way to victory, guys. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're gonna make our way out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go across the bridge together. We're in the sewage. Ew, it probably smells so gross in here. What? Because uh, we're in the sewers. We're in the sewage. Work your way down using the bridges. Okay. okay let's get out of here. <laughs> we can do that. Man, oh, and we're grabbing like wrenches along the way. We need five wrenches. Alright, I already have two. Oh, man. Justin! 
I probably lost my wrench. Yet. I did. <laughs> This is why we don't have friends. Justin, this is literally why. Because no one wants to hang out with us or play with us. <laughs> oh, you think that's so funny, huh? I gave you laugh and my tummy hurts. My tummy hurts. I'll get out of here. Guys, this is literally the reason why Lanky Box does not have friends. That's not why we don't have friends. Why? Because we're cringe. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's not cringe. And no one wants to play Roblox with us. That's not true. Your mom plays Roblox with us. Yeah, sometimes. When I want to ask her to. Yeah. Yeah. She oh. usually just goes to AFK, though. Right. All right, guys. We will beat this, Abby. We got to see what our secret crush has for us. Oh, wait. I don't have enough wrenches. I, no, don't tell me I'm... Wait, I missed a wrench. Probably when you were busy oofing me. What if I missed the first wrench? Wait, 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 what? Wait, wait, wow. Wait, where's the wrench? Don't mm. wow me. On your way back up. Don't you got, you're going to meet everyone you push down on your way down. <laughs> Are you speaking English still? <laughs> all right, let's see if I can get all the wrenches. Where are the wrenches? I missed one somewhere. Hmm. What? Oh, there it is. Nice. Easy. See, I found them all. You got it. I found them all, dude. No problem. No problem now. No problem now. Yeah, exactly. Did you get all the wrenches? Yep, and I just have to take a while and fix this at the very bottom. Oh, does it though. take a while? Yeah, I'm about halfway done. Don't worry, I'll be there. But you lose all your wrenches if you get oofed, so. What? Well, you're not gonna get oofed, you're just fixing something. Yeah, I'm almost done, guys. <laughs> Justin! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> No way that I just lost all the wrenches. I lost all my wrenches. It went on my screen and went back to zero out of five. Justin, I'm gonna buy that and and see what happens to you. Now. Yeah. No doubt. I will. No doubt. I will, Justin. No doubt. You have to get, have a taste of your own medicine. No no! I got check for me. I got check for Are you kidding me? Okay, guys. Hey, guys. We're just messing around because it's a funny hobby. Don't don't do this to people. It's real real messed up. Wow. I'm glad you acknowledged that. <laughs> wow. Because I I I'm, I made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> Did a lot of things I'm not proud of. That was the quickest <laughs> apology ever. <laughs> Because I realized I, um, I did something wrong. Wow, you feel ashamed? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> you said I won't do it again. Maybe. Okay. Maybe if you're on your best behavior. <laughs> I won't do it again. All right, guys. We gotta we'll, we'll escape get to the, the toxic sludge. Ew. Wait, where do you stand? Oh, you gotta stand here. <gasps> or else you just get oof? Yeah. Wow. This toxic sludge is a one hit KO. That's crazy. Ah! You got it, man. It's almost like red light, green light. Yeah. These are. A prom date the squid game doll <gasps> oh that would be nuts oh my goodness she just got oofed people in here these must be all of her oofed prom victims oh man that is messed up ah! she grabbed you what? oh you gotta avoid them i thought you gotta jump on them oh my goodness wow this is tough that's really creepy she just got zombies in her basement oh yeah all right we're here together now yeah all right we got it yeah and just in case you get any funny ideas, hey, what's it, that? I bought this. What's that? It's a laser blaster. Stop it. Yeah, so now I can blast you. you you're gonna get oofed by the by the slime. No, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. <laughs> what are you just trying to I do? Nothing. Nothing. Oh! oh! Run, Justy! Ouchie! Ouchie! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Checkpoint! Checkpoint! Okay, guys, we're doing really good. Was this a giant zip line? Oh no. That is the longest zip line I've ever seen in my life. Yo! Grab the zip line. Yo! <laughs> Wait, I just fell. Wait, what? Wait, what? Did you accidentally jump? No, I didn't do anything. Where? What? What? I can't even use the zip line anymore. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. I might be oofed. <clears throat> you might have to pay to like skip a stage. 
I'll, I'll reset, guys. Guys, the game's glitching. Yeah. <laughs> I think the game's punishing me for trying to mess with you. So, guys, don't mess with your friends in Roblox. I was just trying to be goofy. Wow. It actually glitched. It doesn't work. You gotta skip. I'm skipping the stage. I'll be right there, Adam. Wait for me. Okay, sounds good. Okay, guys, we're gonna get out of here, dude. Our evil crush is in here. We gotta get out of here, man. Yeah, we have to. Now we're in, like, Boxy's family's room. Oh, cool. Bunch of boxes. What do we do? In the vents, like Huggy Wuggy? Yep, that's gotta be it. Nah, it's, oh my goodness, she got toxic barrels. Oh, boy. Why do you oh think boy. she does this, man? Why do you think she oofs her prom dates? Probably just to be, like, extra mean. Why? Maybe... Like, she got rejected yeah. by a guy, and yeah. then she's like, well, if I get rejected, then I'm just going to oof anybody in the world. This, this revenge. Exactly. She probably asked someone to prom, and they said no, and so now she's <clears throat> saying no to everyone. Right. Or she's saying oof to everyone. Yeah, you're right. Her past prom victims are still like, oh my goodness, she kept them alive as zombies? Oh! Wait, Adam, we could use our weapons. We could, we could, we could, you, we could use them. Oh, right. Yeah, it's good we bought these. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Wait, I just got flamethrower to oof by you. That's so weird. I don't know how that happened. I don't even think it does damage to the zombie. Whoa! It only does damage to me. <laughs> so... It said to try and fight the zombies, so I tried. <gasps> There's so many zombies! You better keep running, dude. Hey, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Don't even think about it. <gasps> I'm out of here, dude. All right. Oh, my goodness. I just got immediately oofed by a press. Man, you got hydraulic press? Yeah, this is so crazy, guys. That's nuts. All right, here we go, guys. I'm almost at the end here. I'm almost about to get this checkpoint. Cool. Okay, I'm in the door. Cool. And then where is the press? Ooh. Oh, no, that actually oops you. Wow. Yeah, at least I got a badge, though. That's pretty crazy, huh? All right, here we go. Now I can do watch it. Watch out, watch out. No, I oofed. Uh-oh. I oofed on the press. It's like a hydraulic press, but with people. Whoa, smush Justin. Hey! Why? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why? I won't do it anymore. I won't. <laughs> Stop blasting me. Oh, okay. So uh, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can boxing glove me. <laughs> you can, you can, you, you, you can go to English because your English, you can, you can get his booty. <laughs> it's just actual booty. You called it. It's red light, green light. Wow. So maybe our crush literally is the Squid Game doll. Why is our crush like this, man? Oh, wow. Okay, it's green light. It's green light. It's green light. So it's you green cannot light. move when she says stop, no matter I what. I have to stop. I have to stop. I can go. Oh, boy. Adam's on red light? Yep. No. Oh, wait, that doesn't actually that doesn't actually make me oof. Okay, okay, good. I wouldn't want you to oof. Yeah, that would be bad. All right, nice. I'm going to make it. Okay, nice. All right, the door open. Oh, why is she like that? She's huge. Yeah. This is so scary, guys. She's awesome. What? Yeah. She's trying to oof us. Yeah, I know. Whoa, what? Work your way down the tunnel. Oh, boy. Whoa. Look at how big this tunnel is, dude. This is crazy. Oh my goodness, what is this, like a dropper? I think it is a dropper. All right, we I gotta- need to jump on the cliffs. Oh, so you can't like fall too far. Okay, we gotta make our way down. It's like a reverse dropper. You gotta like stand on stuff. Yeah, and gravity is really strong. Yeah. Oh yeah, we made it, we made it. Awesome. This album is really well made, guys. Is that a piano I hear? Sounds really nice. She's playing the piano? Uh-oh. Why? Oh, back to getting keys. Who's that? Who's playing the piano? Oh no. Wait, over here there's a picture from SpongeBob. What? Where? Over here. Where? It's the Are You Ready Kid? Oh, bruh. Yeah. Oh man, this guy is just playing piano over here. That's nuts. Why, dude? Yeah, I what? really don't know why. Wait, we still gotta find keys. There's a key next to the piano. Nice. One more key, one more key. Where? Oh, it's right here. It's a piano key. Yeah. All right, one more. This is crazy, bro. This obby's actually really well made. It's like one of the best looking obbies we've played in a while. Right. <gasps> escape the librarian. Why is there a librarian? Don't make us escape. It's the librarian from SpongeBob. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. She's fast. Wait, I thought she's a slug. Ah, she's so fast. How oh. is she so fast? Oh, no. Oh, no. She's clearly not a slug. I'm out of here, dude. I'm, I'm so gone. Wow, that was close. Whoa, speed parkour. I fell in the lava. Whoa, this obby's insane. Guys, I just got a badge for oofing 10 times. 
<laughs> so nice. funny. It's so funny. That's a very good badge. It is. <laughs> you don't have it. <laughs> so uh, you got a rare badge. Yeah. Adam doesn't have. Why are you laughing at me, huh? <laughs> Let's go, dude. We gotta get out of here, dude. All right, which way should I pick? I'll go this way. Yeah, go left, go left. All right. Go left, go left. Nice. Here we go. go left, go left. All right, I'm so close to finishing this obby. Why are you clicking? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. It's going to get all excited. All right, we made we it. We made it, dude. Okay, more keys, more keys. Okay, we can do that for sure. More keys, we got to find more keys, dude. Is there one okay, over nice, here? Nice, yep. nice. There's one back here. All right. We got all three keys. We did it. We got to escape our evil crush. How big is her house, man? She got like a whole city in her house. Super big. We open the door. <gasps> We're in like a hall of mirrors. It's a maze. Is there a monster in here? I really that? hope not. Is she going to pop out? <gasps> There she is, guys. Find your way. I knew it. I called it as a mirror maze. All right. Can we make our way out of here? Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. I'm going right. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Adam, we got to get out of here. I'm sorry for messing with you, dude. We should have just stuck together and gotten out of here. She's so scary. Now's our chance, though. I have a good feeling about the way we pick. I think we're going the right way. We are. First try. Ah! Ah! Whoa, there's blades. Blades came slicing out the walls. That was close. Came slicing out the walls. I'm making a run for it. Yep, me too. Come on. Please, please, please. I think I made it. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, man. I did it. I made the stage 19. All right, nice job. We got to escape the evil crush. We have to, man. Walk, we have to. Walk through the living room. That's a TV that's bigger than a house. Yeah, that's true. She got a huge TV in the living room. Walk through the living room. Oh, man. Just walk through it. This is getting real spoopy, man. This game, I didn't think it would be this intense. Yeah, you're right. It's really intense. All right, so All right, far so go. good. You just walk, that's it? It says grab your bazooka and defeat the girl. It's a boss battle. Oh, no. It's a boss battle. All Where's right. the bazooka? It's over here. <gasps> Wait. Oh, we already have it. We just have it. I got locked out. Wait, what? How do you get locked out of the boss fight? I'll try resetting. Bro, what is that? We got to wait 20 seconds? Weird. Because Adam went in without me. Here, now I'm back with you. Now I'm back with you. All right. Yeah. Eight seconds till we can go in there. All we right. got to work together, dude. This is exciting. We got to work together. We got we to gotta beat this. Here we go. Three, two, three. One. All right. All right. I'm in here. I'm in here. Let's go. Let's go. We Upgraded bazooka. No, I'm not going to do Ah! Ah! She's got like a tank. Her body is a tank, guys. What is this? Why does she have this? Run, 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 run. Wait, she's going to run us over. Ah! She's so fast. She's coming straight for us. Go away. This is the craziest boss battle ever. Wow. Stop mm. it. I don't want to go to prom with you anymore. Our crush is actually a giant tank. Ah, she's like a mechanoid robot squid game doll tank combination. All right. Half her health is gone. This is good. Oh, go away. I wonder if our laser blasters work. No. Nope. Go away. They don't do any damage. Go away. Ah. Oh. You got it, man. You got it. I got to do this, man. I got to do this to save myself. Just keep moving. That's I gotta, all we have I gotta to do. I got to save myself, dude. Uh, 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 stop yeah. oofing me. She's so close. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, three more hits. Two more hits. Nice. One more hit. We got to get out of here. Whoa, watch out, watch out, watch out. You got it, man. You got it. Kablooey. What? No way. We, we won. Did we beat the obby? We escaped. Visit the trophy room. <gasps> we beat it. Yeah. Oh. That's awesome. We actually made it. That was a little jungle gym we can hang out in. Wow, guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Go check out LankyBoxShop.com. Get LankyBox plushies. This was so crazy, man. Wow. What do you want to do now? Oh, uh, Adam. Oh, that's pretty fun. I have one of these in real life. Well, Adam, we came in here. We escaped the evil prom date. <laughs> We're gonna go put some food on our plate. <laughs> Adam is playing Roblox in his room right now. I made the perfect Bambolina Roblox account. I'm gonna join him in his game. He's not gonna know it's me. And I'm gonna tell him I'm Bambolina. And I'm gonna get Adam to admit he has a huge crush on Bambolina, guys. This is gonna be so funny. And then I might even hack his Roblox account for Robux. This is gonna be my greatest prank of all time. Make sure you stick around for the secret surprise at the end. Let's go! Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Adam from Lanky Box. And today, I'm actually playing some Roblox all by myself. This is going to be a lot of fun. Justin and my mom are actually at the store right now. They're looking for some new Lanky Box merch, which is going to be super cool. But, oh, whoa! Oh, cool. So, guys, I'm playing some Brookhaven, and there's someone in here. They look a lot like Bambolina. 
Oh, hi. Hi, Bambolina. And yeah, guys, I actually made this super cool poster behind me. It says, I heart Bambolina. They're saying, oh, I'm Bambolina. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Wait, oh, no way! Wait, they're saying I'm the real Bambolina. Hmm, I don't know if I can trust them, guys. I'm not sure. This could just be someone like, oh, whoa. Wait, guys, they typed woo, And they're doing like this kind of like... Thing. I don't know, maybe they want to be my friend? Want to be friends? Now guys, today is actually a really good day because I got a brand new Robux gift card, guys. I just got this. We were at Walmart and Target. I put it in the cart. I got it. I'm going to redeem this later. I'm so excited because I finally have more Robux than Justin now. <laughs> hey, you want to be friends? You're so funny. Aww, I'm a little bit shy, honestly, but... Now, wait a minute, guys. How can I tell this is the real Bambolina? Let me ask. How do I know it's the real Bambolina? Hmm. And by the way, guys, I actually have a, a car in this game that I'm gonna pull out really quick. Yeah. She says, I can prove it. Ask me anything. Um, okay, what should I ask, guys? What should I ask? Um, she says, nice Rari. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Wait, guys, is this, is this actually the real Bambolina? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, who is your, whoops, who is your best friend in Garden of Bam Bam? Now, guys, only the real Bambolina would know this answer. Only the real one would know. Let's see. I'm going to say, huh? I'm going to point at her and see if she can actually say what the answer is. Here we go. There's no way she's going to get it. Oh. Let's see. She's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, our answer's pretty secret, guys. Here we go. Let's see what she says is our best friend. She's probably gonna say something like, I don't know, Coach Pickles or something. It is Josh. Wait, whoa! That actually was the answer I was thinking of. Jumbo Josh, because you know how in the game, guys, um, Jumbo Josh and Bambolina are on the wall together? So, wait, this might actually be the real Bambolina. Which is crazy, because things are really looking up in my life, guys. I finally got Robux, I got Lanky Box merch, and now I'm friends with Bambolina, and she says, but I have a big like on Adam, ooh, ooh from Lanky Box. <laughs> what? Like, 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 like a crush? Wait, guys, no way! Bambolina has a crush on me. Oh, uh, 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 a crush? A quash? Guys, no way. No way. She says, yes, a quash. Oh! Wait, guys. Prove it. Prove it. Wanna go on a... Oh, that's tag two. Wanna go out? Oh, that's tag two. <laughs> wanna, wanna go to um, Ice Queen with me? Wanna go to Ice Queen? Ah! <laughs> she says, thanks for the ride. <laughs> oh man, she stole my car. And she stole my heart. I mean, uh, I, I, maybe guys, maybe. I mean like Justin always says I have a crush at Mambolina. That's a little bit of a secret, guys, so keep that on the down low. Just keep that a secret because it's a little bit embarrassing. But the fact that I'm actually playing Roblox with the real Bambolina and I got this new Robux gift card, I, I, what a great day. What a great day it is, guys. What an absolutely great day. Whoa! Adam has a huge crush on me. No, I... It's like, it's a, it's a mini quash. It's a mini quash, okay? It's just a mini quash. There we go. She says, admit you do. <laughs> A mini one, a mini one. I like you a little bit, okay? Oh no, um, I like you. Yeah! <laughs> and we can go on a date in Roblox? Wait, 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 wait. Am I actually about to go on a date with Bambolina? No way, no way. Are you serious? Are you asking me 
out? Are you asking me out? Here we go. Oh, please. Oh, please. Come on. Please. Uh, maybe. Oh. Are you flirting? <laughs> God, please. Please. Want to get ice cream with me? Guys, this might be perfect. Want to get ice cream with me? This would be a great thing. I could, um, oh cool, she has a bike. I could get her some vanilla ice cream and then I can get um, like green ice cream for Jumbo Josh. It'll be like Bambolina and Jumbo Josh. Hey, come back. Hey, come back. Hey, come back, QT Pie. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Bamboleta said cringe, guys. Look at that in the chat. Uh, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right, guys. If you want to go on a date, follow me. Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good, guys. I'm hopping out the car, going to the hospital. Okay, here we go. I would love to. I would love to. Um, I am so glad to be on a date with you. Okay, where'd she go? Hey, why do you keep running away? Why do you keep running away? Oh, I could show her my Robux gift card. <laughs> Sometimes, guys, you just gotta flex a little bit. Um, I'll, I'll tell her about it, I'll tell her about it. Okay, hold on, I gotta get up here, guys. One sec, one sec. Wait, Bambolina's like actually a lot better than me at Roblox. <laughs> Hold on. All right, here we go. Oh, cool. It's like a little secret area. Guys, she's saying first you must be injected with EXE. Hey, um, I have a Robux gift card. Please don't be taxed. It's for $10. Oh, wow. $10. I got it from Walmart and Target. And actually, that's true, guys. I actually was at the store with my mom and we were getting Lanky Box merch, which you guys should always try to get. If you guys can find it, it's rare. It's very hard to find this stuff. And uh, yeah, I saw the gift card and I asked for it and we got it. First admit, you have a huge crush on me. Hmm. 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 Now guys, I try to never say that on camera because then Justin takes the footage and then he uses it and makes me look really embarrassing. So uh, I'll tell her, hey Bambolina, hey Bambolina. <laughs> um, okay, so my friend keeps saying I have a crush on you. His name is Justin. Oh, my, my friend Justin says I have a crush on you. Thanks again. My, uh, 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 I think I like you. No, oh, it's tags again. No, don't leave, 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 don't leave. I have a crush on you. I do, I do, I do, I do, okay? I do, okay? Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Can I have a hug? Here we go, guys. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Here we go. Oh, I'll dance too. I'll dance too. Hold on, guys. Hold on. <laughs> I have a huge crush, guys. I have a huge crush on you. Okay, guys. We can go on a date. Nice. Nice. There we go. It's time to go on that date. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, I gotta stop dancing. One sec, guys, one sec. All right, here we go. Okay, and stop dancing. Okay, now where did Bambolina go? Bambolina, where are you? Where did you go? Guys, I actually lost my new crush. That's not good. But what is good is that I have this Robux gift card. Which is so lit, guys. I'm so excited to think about all the things I can buy with this because I never get Robux. Like, Justin's always the one that gets them and then he always buys like really, really lit stuff. Oh, I see her over there, I see her over there. Hey, Bambolina. <laughs> oh, she says, hurry up. 
<laughs> Alright guys, hold on. Let me get in my car so I can go faster. Alright, here we go. Let me get in my car. Hop in. Beep, 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 beep. And here we go. Okay, did she go in the ice cream? She says, buy me some ice cream. Um, I'm gonna ask her. You don't, um, like me only for Robux, right? I'll ask her. If you want to date me, you have to spend Robux on me. Ooh, woo. Mm -hmm. Now, that's fine, guys. That's fine. I'm, I'm okay spending a little bit of Robux. Okay. Um, I'll ask her what flavor you like. What flavor? You are a QT. Okay, here we go, guys. She says, do it or else <laughs> I will eject EXE on you. Guys, this is the first date I have ever been on. So far, so good, I think. I don't really know. I think this is good. This is my first date ever. She says, ah, oh, this is my first date date ever okay I'll, I'll get her some i'll get her some bubble gum um ice cream oh no whoops i got the wrong kind all right that's all right here you go here you go it's the wrong kind but there you go <laughs> i got the wrong one oops okay whatever guys sometimes in life things don't go according to plan it's all good it's all good um is there anything hey Wait, she says I don't like you anymore. Are you serious? No, come back. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, man, guys, man. I thought the date was going well, I'll be honest. I thought I was just knocking it out of the park, but I guess not. But I know I can save this. She says, you can win me back if you do two things. Oh? What two things can I do to win your heart? She says, buy me a pizza. Okay, okay, no problem. I could easily get that. Okay. And then what else? What else, QT? Okay guys, so far so good. So far so good. It's me and Boxy. All we gotta do is buy her some pizza and then maybe she wants some like Bloxier. Stop eating my food, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She says, next step, we can get marriage. Whoa, guys, I thought it was going well. I didn't think it was going that well though. Okay, 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 I'm down. I'm down, get a suit please, okay? Let's go to the suit store. Wow, this is, this is excellent. This is literally what happened in one of my dreams the other day, guys. Like, okay, keep this a secret because I don't want Justin finding out, but I literally had a dream that I was, uh, that I was getting married. I had a dream that I was marriage to you. <laughs> oh, come on. I had a dream like this that I married you. I had a dream like this, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> she says go away. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let me go in here. Let me see, could I get anything in here? Oh, it's like a little uh, dance party or something. That's kind of cool. I don't think you can get any suits in here though. Yeah, no. She says, hey, yo. <laughs> Wait, where'd she go? Guys, I think if I just adjust my Roblox guy, um, let me see if I have any clothing. Hmm. Uh, is it in here? No. Uh, I'll try putting on, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here we go. There we go. Now that I got my suit and tie, guys, I'm looking real sharp. Real, real sharp. Okay, I am in a suit now. My girl. All right, here we go. Now, where is Bambolina? She has left me. Which is okay, guys, which is okay. I actually don't know where she went. Where did you go? It's almost like she left the chat, guys. You are new. She says, you are new. Where? 
turn around. <laughs> Aww, she's in a golf cart. Oh, wow. Guys, check this out. I'll go first person and I'll put the pizza away. Wow. Oh, wow. You look nice in your new outfit. This is so cool, guys. You look mid. Maybe mid, I don't know what that means. Does mid stand for manly in dress? Get in, okay. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, guys. We got it, we got it, we got it. Thank you. Now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Bambolina wants to go to the town hall to get married? Why would I get married though? I mean, I feel like that's just so fast. Is this, is this where married, married? Time to marriage. <laughs> but why? Why do you like me? Why do you like me? I'll ask her that question, guys. Oh, why do you like me ah come on um because you dream of this but first you must do one thing here's the big steal now guys this is my big day i will not fumble this opportunity anything for you anything what do you need maybe she wants more pizza she says give me give me code to robux card wait what <laughs> give me code to robux card like, like, like you want my Roblox? My Robux? Like you want my Robux? Those are mine. Guys, so if anyone ever asks you for your Robux gift card code on the back, don't give it to them. She says yes, and she wants me to prove I'm a Roblox guy. I am a Roblox guy. Like my friend Justin. We both are. But I don't want to give you my Robux card because I earned it by doing chores. Will you break up with me if I don't give it to you? Ah, will you leave if I don't give it to you? <laughs> Guys, now I am at a serious pickle. Because should I give this code to Bambolina and then get married to her and live literally happily ever after, or should I not? Okay, I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it. That was a that was a close one. Okay, I will do for you. Adam has a huge quad on me. Let's go. Okay, guys. So you guys can see I actually scratched out the code. I'll give it to her right now. Send me code. Okay. The code is R I E G. Um. Eh, eh. K E G G bop and then it's bop 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 bop. There you go. Okay, that's the code, guys. There you go. I <laughs> I love you. Oh, it's tags. She says thank you. I like you. Wait, what? She says see you later. Wait, what? Wait, hold up. Oh no! Oh! Wait a minute! Wait, 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 wait. She must have just like went somewhere else in this game. Hold on. Let me check the server. I'm gonna press tab. Okay. Hold on, guys. So wait. If I click here. Oh no, guys. I'm the only one in this server. She left. Are you still there, guys? Wait, Bambolina actually just came in here and she tricked me and then she stole my... Oh no, wait, maybe I can still redeem this. Maybe I can still redeem this. Okay guys, I'm actually gonna try to redeem this gift card and see what happens. It should still be mine. The code has already been redeemed! No! No, she took the code! Huh? Oh, hey, what's up, man? Oh, what's up? 
Yo, hey, yo, what's up? Dude, dude, get out of my room, man. Why, dude? I just want to hang out, dude. I was having a great day. Let me tell you a story. I was having oh. a great day. Oh, yeah. You were at Walmart and Target, right? Oh, was, yeah, and, definitely. So, anyways, <laughs> check this out, man. I was playing some Brookhaven, and Bambolina entered my server. No way. And she asked me out on a little bit of a date. And she actually wanted to get married. Dude. Okay. I'm not oh, joking. Hey, yo. I'm not joking, I man. Don't know, I'm not joking, man. Maybe. But, but, um, oh. so right as I was about to get married to her, she asked for my Robux gift card. Bro. So I feel like either I got scammed or something, but I don't know, man. I, I just have a real bad feeling about the whole thing. What? Why are you making that face? What? What are you doing? Wait a minute. Wait, your shoes are off. You, you weren't at Walmart and Target. Wait, were you controlling?